Hey, I'm Sean Martin. I'm going to talk to you about the air assist on your K40 laser. If you've uh, cut or engraved for any amount of time on your laser and tried air assist, you found that it's massively beneficial to your cut quality and keeping your lens clean. There are a number of different air assist nozzles on the market uh, that make it uh, that work very well, um, but there's really only been one solution to getting the air to the nozzle that I've found on online and it's using a, a drag chain which is the right way to do it but the problem is it mounts the drag chain in the back and has it kind of chasing along like this. The, uh, the challenge is, as you can see, is that every now and then the drag chain gets in front of the laser beam going from here to here and uh, you'll have to scratch in your head as to what happened and, and why didn't my cut work. Um, the issue is that a drag chain is not designed to be used in this orientation. It just wears out. You can see this one is sagging massively after only a few months of use. It's designed to work this way. And it's a little bit of a challenge to uh, get that drag chain in that orientation on, on the K40 laser, but it can be done. Um, I've designed a system here that uh, mounts to the end of the gantry and supports the drag chain. Works great, used it for several months, haven't had any issues. Now, I've been playing around a little on Etsy, so I'm putting this product up on Etsy. You can purchase it there. I'll put a link below. And right now, I'm going to show you how to install this. It's very quick and easy. It's not a difficult thing to install. Um, you're going to need a Phillips screwdriver and a uh, three millimeter Allen key. Um, you're going to open this door. And I'm going to move the camera here so you can see a little bit better. The first thing you want to do is make it easy for you to get the, uh, um, get the air assist line through the drag chain. What I like to do is just take a piece of string and thread it through like this. This can be a little bit tedious, but not nearly as tedious as trying to get the air hose through there. So, I'm just going to tie a slip knot in the end here. it over the end of my air assist line. And pull it on through. And of course it's pulling me. Okay, so that's, that's probably the most complicated or difficult or tedious task right there. Just set it in place on top of the machine and uh, remove the screw back here. Remove the screw in front here. mount in place and replace your screws. Before you do this, it's a good idea to tighten this screw or make sure it's tight. As long as you're not uh, really rough with this, you'll find that you're probably not going to um, lose your uh, laser alignment. Um, if you do, it will only be slight, a slight amount. Alright, so I'm just gonna put that over there, make sure my drag chain is straight, and tighten these screws down. OK, 
Okay. And you can hook your air assist line up. And then remove the slack so it's not flopping around in there a lot. And you're going to find on the end of this piece here, there's a couple holes for a, uh, for a cable tie. So just thread that cable tie through there and bring it back through the other one. And you don't want to do this up really tight because you don't want to pinch that airline. You just want to hold it down out of the way so it's not, uh, not hitting this, the side of the frame here. So I've got that on there loose-ish. Somewhere around here I have a pair of dikes. There they are. Just going to clip that off. Your next step is to access the socket head cap screws that are on the end of the gantry and a lot of people don't know what this hole is for right here but that's to uh, adjust these two phillips screws down here and adjust the tension on your belt so if you're in here right now check your belt tension and see if it feels nice and tight if it does then uh, don't do anything if it feels really loose then you just come in here with a phillips screwdriver and uh, do a few turns on each one of those Phillips screws. The upper screws here mount the, uh, the little sliding mechanism to the, the gantry rail. So I'm just gonna remove those. And uh, my system does use these socket head cap screws. They're just, uh, I think they're M4s. So if you, uh, if yours are different, you'll need to get some M4 socket head caps like this because when, you, when I show you how they go into this mount, they just drop into these holes right here. And so you want to make sure you're using the right type of screw and the head seats all the way down into that hole. So get those in there. Make sure your uh, airline is is not tangled in any way. Bring it down and you have to, oops, come and find those holes. And get it tightened down. Okay, so the last thing to do, which is already done on my machine, is to take your air hose and just tape it in place. Make sure you got plenty of slack to come all the way to the front, and it's, and it's nice and loose. Um, and it will just kind of run back and forth there. You don't, I haven't found a need for any sort of drag chain on the bottom here. Um, the last thing you're going to want to do once you've done this, is to go through and just confirm that your mirror alignment didn't change any. All right, so thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw here, hit subscribe, make a comment below. Like I said, I'll put a link in the description below on where you can obtain one of these. And uh, hopefully you'll have an air assist that uh, isn't catching and binding and causing problems when you're cutting. So, see you next time.